Well, tonight, the sports world mourning the loss of beloved coach and broadcaster John Madden. The Bay Area legend died today at the age of 85. KPX 5's Andrea Nakano joins us with a look at Madden's lasting impact on the NFL and beyond. Yeah, John Madden was football, and for fans here in the Bay Area, he was their Hall of Fame coach that brought Raider Nation its first Lombardi trophy. A colorful character in the broadcast booth in his later years, it was John Madden's competitive demeanor on the sidelines as head coach of the Oakland Raiders that endeared him to football fans everywhere. Madden caught the eye of Raiders owner Al Davis, who hired him as linebacker's coach in 1967. Two years later, 32-year-old John Madden would become the youngest head coach in the National Football League. Madden's blue-collar attitude and free spirit rubbed off on his players, and that was a recipe for success for the silver and black as the Raiders won seven division titles in his first eight seasons there. Four times Madden's Raiders would lose in the playoffs to the eventual Super Bowl champion, but in 1976, things would finally go the Raiders' way. After losing just one regular season game, they faced their conference rival Pittsburgh Steelers in the AFC Championship game and beat Pittsburgh to advance to Super Bowl XI in Pasadena. The Silver and Black beat the Vikings 32-14, to giving the Raiders their first Super Bowl championship. How does it feel? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Waited a long time. After 10 seasons at the helm in Oakland, Madden walked off the sidelines for the last time in 1978. In 2013, he spoke to KPIX 5's Vern Glenn about the secret to his success. What was the driving force? What was, what was the fire in the belly that kept you going? Uh, probably just wanting to be the best. I mean, I always, I always wanted to win, you know, that even, even, you know, as a little kid, you know, and, you know, flipping, you know, milk tops or cards or whatever, I wanted to win everything. And I think, I think that's important because, you know, I mean, everyone probably wants it, but then I wanted it so bad I was willing to work for it. I was willing to put the work in to make it happen. Madden then found a new passion, one that would put him in the homes of nearly everyone in America and the hearts of football fans everywhere. Madden began a second career in the broadcast booth, pioneering the kinds of breakdowns we're used to seeing today. Like this is a father bucket, this is a mother bucket, and since the last game, they had a baby bucket. Madden was tapped to broadcast 11 Super Bowls, Monday Night Football, and maybe more notably Thanksgiving, where he would be in a tradition that continues today, awarding turkey legs to the most valuable players of the winning team. His lovable persona brought him numerous endorsement deals, and in 1988, he was immortalized as one of the greatest selling sports video games of all time, and with well over 100 million copies sold to date, the game affectionately known as Madden. It was in 2006 that Madden was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Fittingly, he rode his cruiser to Canton, Ohio for the enshrinement ceremony. Andrea, thanks so much. Definitely a legend. Amazing. Long live the turducken, that's what I say. <laughs> Tonight, longtime Oakland Raider fans say John Madden was much more than the coach of their favorite team. John, as the greatest Oakland Raider head coach and greatest coach ever, was more than a football coach for us. He was an icon here in the East Bay that guided us in terms of how we think, how we approach life, how we grind. We have seen an outpouring of condolences and memories of John Madden on social media tonight. Definite sign of the huge number of lives that he touched.